now that you have finished adding your Amazon Marketplace to your SkewGrid account, it is now time to connect SkewGrid to your Amazon account. And when you do that, you're going to get the necessary keys and copy and paste them into these three boxes, the Amazon Merchant ID, which is your seller ID, the MWS authentication token, um, and the Amazon store name, your store name for your Amazon store. Now, in order to do that, you're going to follow these very well-written instructions, which are on SkewGrid site. I will provide a link to these, instru to these instructions in the description of this video. And I will just briefly go over these instructions. The first thing is to log into your seller account. Once you do that, you will find settings in the upper right-hand corner. Once you click on settings, you will then go to user permissions on the lower part of your screen. Uh, you will then find a button which says visit manage your apps. You click on that button. It then brings you to authorize new developer. You will click on that button, authorize new developer. And then you will be redirected to this screen. And this is where you're actually going to enter the developer's name and the developer ID which is provided to you in this next step by SkewGrid. The developer name is Ecom Syndicator. The developer ID that is provided is here and this developer ID is for the US, Canada and Mexico Amazon marketplaces. If you are listed on some other marketplace besides US, Canada or Mexico then you have a different ID and you will have to go back to SkewGrid Go to settings, go to marketplaces, go to Amazon, and then country to find your developer ID. But again, if you're doing Amazon US, Canada, or Mexico, then this ID will be fine. Once you enter that information uh, for the developer, you'll click next. You just read this over, you'll agree, you'll click next. And it will then take you to a screen which will have the Amazon keys, Amazon credentials, the three things that you need to copy and paste into SkewGrid. Your seller ID is the number that identifies you as a seller. Uh, the marketplace ID is a code for the Amazon marketplace that you're selling on. And you will have this information presented here, seller ID, marketplace ID, your authorization token. And you should know your store name. Your store name might be there as well, but you should know your store name since it is the store name that you came up with. And you will simply go back to SkewGrid, copy and paste from your Amazon seller account. You will paste these three pieces of information. Um, and then you will click Save Settings. And at that point, SkewGrid should be uh, connected to your Amazon account. And you should get some kind of uh, message showing that this information was successfully saved. And now you're ready to go ahead and get started with Amazon dropshipping with SkewGrid.